Hi folks, uh, I thought I'd pop on and talk to you a little bit. I haven't since I launched my site last week, so I thought I'd come and say hi and explain a little bit more why I'm doing this work as a feminist writing coach. Um, on Friday, I wrote a piece about how the writing industry is, that, which basically I'm part of, people who edit, people who run workshops, teach, run MAs, uh, do scouting and publishing workshops, all of us um, have failed women writers. Um, I know that sounds like a bit of a bold claim, but I actually believe it's true. If you're a woman writer and you've gone to a workshop or a course or even a literary event when you're reading, um, if you look around, you'll see it's pretty much 80% women, right? So women are holding up the writing industry. But the fact is, sadly, that the 20% of men in the room, no matter what their abilities are, are more likely to be published than the women writers still. Okay, that's been proven in studies. And their work, when it comes out, is more likely to win awards, more likely to garner reviews. So it's a pretty sort of biased uh, industry in that sense. And there's lots of reasons why that might be. Um, but it's a, it's a tough thing. And on top of that, you've got the fact that most women actually do more domestic labour, childcare, on top of jobs. So compared to their male counterparts, they actually um, can't, you know, they can't just ditch the kids. Like he says, oh, honey, I've got to write my masterpiece. I'm here to have the kids for two hours. So all the women I know who are, I support a lot of women to write books, are they getting up at the crack of dawn or staying up late and basically killing themselves? to remain creative or they set it off, put off their career until their kids have gone, uh, left the nest. So we lose out on that over and so do they lose out on so much of happiness and joy of creating. And on top of that, I see an awful lot of what I would call internalized patriarchy. And it's something Tara Moore talks about in Playing Big, that women are taught to stay small and silent. And we basically doubt ourselves and procrastinate um, because of perfectionism, because we have to be the perfect woman. And we also have this sense that it's bad to be ambitious or it's bad to market ourselves. So even if we do get to have literary success, that marketing ourselves and believing ourselves piece, which is what we need to succeed, right? Because this is a highly competitive world. Um, and that's whether you're self-publishing or even, you know, with a major house, you're going to need to show your work isn't there. So what I'm finding is then, is that women writers face a whole range of issues from gender bias in the industry to having more practical obstacles in their way to writing and the emotional piece of being, you know, kind of up against themselves because patriarchy has done a number on us and male writers just don't have this. I often joke, you know, with my, my women, just please have the confidence of an average white or male author, right? And of course, if you add race and class issues and disabilities and kind of uh, and kind of poverty and, and ageism and all the other stuff on top of the sexism, then women across the board with these other challenges that culture put on them are having an even tougher time. But, but, and this is what I was saying in the article on Friday on why I'm doing this work, the writing industry is acting like this doesn't happen. And I don't really know why, because there's an awful lot of female teachers and editors in this world and publishers, but it's like it's invisible. It's the elephant in the room, patriarchy and gender bias and the problems women face. And I'm not saying this day, oh, we're poor women, we're so up again. You know, I'm not after a pity party. What I'm after here is us being prepared to face the realities so we can go in there and win. So we can change them long term, the gender bias and all these patriarchal bullshit that we need smashing up, but also just to support women to be creative within this system now, which is against them. Women face specific issues as writers, and I want to have specific solutions for them, which I don't think are being offered by the people. There are bits and pieces, the odd women's charity or page here, the odd course, but there's no real consistent conversation around this the way this operates. And you might say, oh, well, it's only the book world. And it is, it's a little elitist corner. But you know what, to me, it's very telling that the Nazis burnt books because books are that powerful. They speak truth to power. They can change people's minds. They can criticize autocrats. And this is why, you know, Trump hates journalists, right? Words are powerful. 
So there's also a thing here that I think women's voices from all backgrounds, and I mean, I include our trans sisters in this. I don't want to even go there with that. They're not women thing. So hi, beautifuls. You're welcome here. Um, I really want people to be writing their books, their poetry, their screenplays, their TV shows, their novels, their memoirs, their business books, their healing books, their coaching books. I want women's voices to be out there because I believe that if we can get them pub writing, publishing, we can change the world. And we really need it right now. So my job then is to support women via editing, manuscript assessment and coaching packages. Um, to do this and that can take people from just starting to write and, or wanting to create a writing practice that doesn't kill them um, all the way through to finishing a novel or actually um, you know the submission process sorry my cat's notching the books it's making it lovely hello darling um, so I can support people with all those things because I've been through it myself I'm a novelist and um, you had a long journey and got over lots of obstacles to get to publication so that's what I'm going to do. And then the long term plan is next year I'm going to launch a feminist writing school because I know that not everybody can afford one to one programs. And I also want to follow something like Judy Chicago's feminist art school from the 70s in the States. And I want us to, that to prepare us emotionally and craft wise to really take on the industry. I'm out there to form a movement to get women's books finished and out there changing the effing world. And my job with other women is to support other women to do this, to put further my writing as well. And as a process, I want us to push patriarchy from the page. And I hope you would join me. If you wanna know more, I'm gonna be doing a Facebook launch party on Wednesday, November the 14th, at six to 8 p.m. UK time. I think that's late morning, early afternoon in the States for my American friends. And if you want to join me, just drop me a PM and I'll send you an invite. You can also um, go to my website, SharonZink.com, Z with a Z I N K, and you can have a moot around and see what I offer. I offer a 30 minute free uh, literary sister book chat if you need a pep talk. Um, and you can also just join my email list, the Love Letters from the Literary Revolution. Um, and that comes with a big access to my inspiration library, which has lots of different resources for all stages of your writing career. Anyway, I hope that's helped inspire you. Keep fighting the good fight, women. Um, we're gonna we're gonna write patriarchy off the page. Take care. Bye.